We've seen new data which shows the scale of ethnic minority underrepresentation in local government. It's the first ever complete census of councillors, and it found just 7% of them are from a black, Asian or minority ethnic background, when in fact they make up 14% of the population as a whole. Researchers at the University of Manchester logged the percentage of people from an ethnic minority on each council and this map shows exactly what they found. As you can see, metropolitan or city councils, shown here in yellow, are home to some of the UK's largest BAME populations like London and Manchester and they're more likely to be diverse. But even many of these underrepresent the communities who live there. For example, only 13% of Westminster councillors are from a BAME background, compared to 38% of the population. Brighton and Hove has a disparity of 11 percentage points, as does, quite surprisingly, Manchester. There are places where BAME people are overrepresented, such as Hounslow, but this is rare, and that's played a key role in long-standing inequalities. This is a wake-up call for party leaders to say in their localities. What is the plan to ensure that you have a membership that looks like the people you're seeking to serve? What is the plan to ensure that talent goes from A to B to high office? You know, too often political parties are crossing the fingers and hoping that people will come forward and, th and that they will have a representative parliament. It's not good enough. You need to have a comprehensive plan to uh, recruit, retain and promote talent and once you have that, you have a representative local authority that can serve the needs of a diverse community. The report also looks at how many councillors from an ethnic minority background are women. It found just three in ten Asian councillors were female. And black women made up the majority of councillors, six out of ten from that community. In 2019, more ethnic minority MPs were elected to Parliament than ever before. But this progress has masked the reality of representation at lower levels of government. Finding out why this is an issue is crucial, as councils are where power is closest to the people. And at a time of heightened discussions around institutional racism and inequality, the lack of ethnic representation can reinforce that disadvantage and tackling it could bridge the long-standing diversity gap.